today I was out searching for ticks on my tortoises. Where I like looking for ticks is kind of right up here by the butt. Oh, yep. You found one already? Yes. It's right here. Really? Can you see it? Here, we're gonna grab them. Look at this. We're gonna get them by the body and look. We're gonna just yank them. Look at this. Do you see it? Oh, look. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today I was out searching for ticks on my tortoises. Right now, it's the springtime here in sunny South Florida and well, all over the place. And right now, we are having a lot of rains in South Florida. Rains in springtime equals ticks. So today, I went around to my redfoot tortoises, to my Galapagos tortoises, the two groups that normally have ticks, my other star tortoises, never really see ticks on them. All I'm gonna say is we found some giant ticks. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna tell you guys how many. So if you wanna know where we found the ticks, how many we found, what the heck we're doing about this tick infestation, well guys, you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that. So first stop today is my red foot tortoises. They've got a massive pen that's 153 feet in diameter. And look at this little guy right here. I am seeing some tortoises up to no good. This guy, hey, buddy, what are you doing? All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you do your thing. I'm gonna mind my business. All right, buddy, you get back to it. So right now, I'm in with my red foot tortoises and we have 22 adults in here now. I'm not gonna check every single one, but I'm gonna do a rough check on just random tortoises. Cause if we pick about three to four of these tortoises and none of them have ticks, then more than likely none of them have ticks. But if I find just one tick, that means we're gonna have to check each and every red foot. Cause if there's one, then there is definitely going to be some more. So let's kind of pick. We go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm gonna check you cause you're right in front of me. Right now we got our trees blooming. Look at this, providing some nice shade. We've got that, and not only do we have the tortoise, but look at this. We have a fly bag right now that has been trapping some flies because we have a serious flies here in the summertime. Look at this. This bag is like five inches of flies. This is crazy. All right. How you doing, Mr. Tortoise? So I'm literally just going to pick you on up just like this, and I'm going to gently just flip you on over. This is one of my nice breeder males. You can see it's the male because they got the concave shell for actually mounting on the females. We got a beautiful red foot. Now, where I like looking for ticks is kind of right up here by the butt. And that's where the ticks normally hang out in the legs. This guy's looking tick free. The red foots really have this thick armor on their scoots right here, wherever it's red. So normally the ticks, I don't really typically see them show up here. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me check you out. You be on your way. Now I'm going to check him because he's out and about. This is a male cherry head tortoise. So you know he's a cherry head because you can see he's got this bright orange head right here. And this is a new, kind of a new addition. And he's got some marbling. Hey buddy, can I, I'm gonna pet your head right now. So I'm just gonna flip him over nice and gently, just like that. And we're gonna look for some ticks. I'm not seeing ticks. Hello sir, how you doing? So definitely gotta get some Vaseline on this. He came to me with this fungus, but you can see, just kind of peels right up with my fingernail and Nope, no ticks. All right, buddy, here you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip you over nice and gently. You'll be on your way. It's honestly a great sign that we have not seen ticks. I don't wanna find ticks because ticks are not good. If you get too many ticks on tortoises, it can actually be fatal to them. If they're sucking too much blood, they can become anemic. But now we're gonna check this female that just kinda came out of the bushes right now. Now, we're gonna check her in a second, but soon enough, we're gonna have a water feature here. It's gonna be a little pond with a stream. It's gonna be really cool. But now I want to check this big girl. We added a bunch of new tortoises, so all the ones we're checking are these new ones. So we're going to just gently, since she's tucked away, we're going to gently just kind of move her just like this. And look at this. Mmm. We've got, look at this. We've got a very nice tortoise poop right here, which somehow stuck to her shell. And what I want to do is, let's see. Oh, yep. It's definitely poop. <laughs> Woo! That was some stinky stuff there. So right now we're gonna kind of look on the bottom of her shell to see what we can find. Not seeing any ticks here. Now normally the baby ticks love to hang out here and 
no ticks. All right, late, pretty lady, you go back on your way. We're gonna bring it, we're gonna flip you on over, and I'll see you later. Another tortoise and no ticks. Great sign. So we're gonna check one last red foot, and I'm gonna check out this younger male right here. He's kind of hard to see. He's kind of just blending into the grass. I think he's, I think he's waiting for, I think he's waiting for these guys to to be done with whatever the heck they're doing, guys. All right, you you make me some babies. So we're gonna come over here now to this little male. Pretty small. So my friend actually raised this guy up. Beautiful. Florida raised red foot. You can see it's got perfect shell growth, no pyramiding, absolutely gorgeous. So we're just gonna flip him on over right now. And beautiful bottom of this plastron, young male, probably maybe eight years old or so. And I am not seeing any ticks right here. So no ticks on him, we visually see him. Wait, oh, wait, oh no, that's his nail. I thought that that right there, guys. Look at that, that's crazy. So if you look right here, I thought that that little dot was a tick, but it's not, it's actually just nail. So we're just gonna flip this guy right on over and we've checked the red foots here. I checked five of 22 and no ticks. So more than likely, there is not gonna be any ticks on them, but this time of year, pretty much two to three times a week, I come in here, I look for ticks because if there is a tick problem, we wanna combat it. We wanna get it under control as soon as possible. So we checked our red foot pen out, no ticks, thank goodness. So in just a second, we're actually gonna go check out our bigger Galapagos tortoises, the tortoises that normally have ticks. But first, I wanna show you guys the red foot's babies that they had that have hatched out and are available right now for all of you. So right now, baby tortoise season is in full swing. We got babies hatching out almost every single day and right in this bin right here, we have Red foots, bright orange red foots, and cherry heads. So this is one of our, our raise up tortoise boxes. We got a nice mesh lid to keep predators out, but we're just gonna open this on up now. We'll be really gentle how we open it so we don't break the hinges just like that. And we have some food for them, water, and right in here, we got a bunch of babies here, but under here, I suspect there's probably more. So right now, on jacobfetter.com, my website, we have tons of beautiful babies available, including this cherry head tortoise right here. This beautiful but shy cherry head is available on the website, and we got another cherry head kind of taking off, so it's so cute and cool to see how tiny these babies start out. So this is another cherry head tortoise that I hatched out. You can see he's got these insane colors on his neck. So if you guys are interested in any cherry heads or red foots, they're available on my website. So we got one little guy here, come buy your food. We also have bright orange red foots, which this would be a bright orange red foot. Hey guys, hey, stop it. If anyone is interested in babies, again, like I said, they're on the website ready to go. These are all Florida Rays. Bred, incubated, and hatched here at my jungle. So we got more cherry heads hanging on out. And then this is would be a regular red foot tortoise right now. So we got three different options for everyone. So this one's a little bit darker, but he's still beautiful nonetheless. You can see kind of the difference in the shell. You see this one's real dark. This guy's cherry head's a little lighter. And they're all unique in their patterns and their color. We got to check our adult red foots. You guys got to see the babies that are available for all of you right now. So if you wanna own a baby red foot, you wanna have a piece of my jungle in your home, well all you guys have to do after the video, go to the link in the description, click it, get your own baby tortoise if you're prepared and you've done your research. If you haven't done your research, don't buy a baby tortoise. And now that we've seen those two, we are gonna head over to my Galapagos and Aldabra tortoise to see if we can find some blood sucking ticks. All right, so Hannah and I made it over to our Galapagos tortoise and Aldabra tortoise habitat. Now the Galapagos and the Aldabra, they're the two largest tortoises in the world. And right now we've got some bigger ones over here that we've had for a while. And we have some two babies here. We have a baby Galapagos coming out right here. We got our Aldabra on the backside, but we've got to check for ticks right yeah. now, Hannah, because it is springtime, it's been raining. So the Galops particularly for some reason, None of the other tortoises really get ticks. Sometimes we'll find a tick on a red foot and maybe the star tortoises, but I would say 99% of the time, the ticks are on the Galapagos. I don't know what it is, but they absolutely love latching on. So Hannah, I'm gonna look at one and you're gonna look at one, okay? okay? Let's so do it. why don't you grab Mr. Galapagos? Okay. All right, go grab him right now. So right now we're gonna check his neck and behind the legs. That's the sweet spot for baby ticks or I'm big not ticks. Seeing so anything, we're though. not seeing anything. Wait, wait, let's look at this side. Yep, that just looks like some sand right here. So the ticks love hiding right here and up on the necks. Now let's kind of let's look at his bottom of his legs, Hannah. Let's look on this back side here. Okay. We wanna check him out really good. I'm not, I'm not, guys, do you see any? I'm, I'm I don't not, see anything on this side. Do you see anything on that side? I, I don't see anything there. 
Okay, okay I, don't, so I don't see anything on this little guy he right looks here. Tick free. All Perfect. Right. All right, let's let him go. You did. Okay. You did good, buddy. You did good. There you go. So let's check out Mr. Aldabra man. So we're gonna check out him. So let's take a look at him. How you doing, buddy? Hello. I'm not seeing anything. Um, Are you? Nope, nope. I don't. I don't. Nope. Not seeing anything. Yeah. There. I don't so see nothing on this around. side. Let's take a look and kind of difficult to see so we're yeah. gonna just hold that leg and then he'll kind of gently open it up like that but we're um nope tick tick free yeah all right we are tick free here so let's let him on down there good go, job buddy. guys enjoy your grass thank you for helping us out you did good so right now Hannah and i are going to go check out the bigger galapagos tortoises now which are about i think the biggest one is probably pushing 200 pounds he's getting really big and we have our tick tools here we have some alcohol in here and then some hemostats for grabbing ticks so we definitely we spotted one of the tortoises the other but one? i'm not seeing the other one let's make sure he's in here they're really slow um here. he's over here yeah i see him nice let's see where is he where is he right here. all right so we got two tortoises both of them are getting really big that one i've had since it was a hatchling so I think we should split up, Hannah. I think you okay. should check one, and then I should check one. So, okay, you want to get that one, and I'll get this one? Yeah, you get the okay. smaller guy. If you see a tick, shout, and I'll let you know what I find. All right, perfect. All right, so this is the moment of truth is right now. Let me know down below, guys. Comment down below. Are we going to find a tick on this bigger Galapagos tortoise? Not sure if we are, but this time of year, we almost Jacob, always find... What? I found one. You found one? I found one already. No way. I was way. literally checking for like five seconds. No way. You found one already? Yes. It's right here. Really? Can you see it? Oh, yeah, 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 right yeah. Here. So look at this. It's hard to yeah, see. Wait. Take, you see, you can wait. see its little yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Wait, let me let me see it. Wait, am I holding it? Wait, wait, yeah. Wait, you got it? I have it? Wait, I don't know if I have it. Wait, okay. where is it? Oh, right wait, there. I got it, I got it. Oh. Look at that. So, that was quick. Yeah, very quick. That was really quick. Okay, look at this. Wait, we don't want to drop him. Look at that. Oh, my look at the, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Look at this little tick right now crawling on my hand wait hand i put him in the center of my hand okay so he doesn't uh. so we're used to touching these ticks now good thing about the ticks right here we don't have to worry about lyme disease particularly here because we don't have too many deer in this area but ticks can carry and harbor all kinds of diseases just depending on what kind of a host they were on but this is definitely one creepy tick so all right, Hannah, let's, uh, so let's get this tick away before he falls. Okay. So we wanna get this guy in the alcohol immediately, which is definitely gonna kill him. Now, I know everyone's gonna tell me that I shouldn't pull the tick because its head is gonna stick in there. It's kind of an urban myth. Um, I've never had the head stick in there, so we're just gonna put him in right now. One, two, let's see. Oh, look at him. So we put him right now in some alcohol. This is a parasitic bug. We definitely don't want on our animals. So now we're gonna flip our tortoise over. This guy, I can do it by myself still, but it's getting quite difficult to flip them. They were once tiny hatchlings, but now are slowly turning into big bulldozers. So I'm just gonna grab them right here, just like this. Oh my God. And then we're gonna flip them. Hannah, come look. Okay, let's see. Do we have ticks? I'm you looking. take a look. Look All by right. his butt. Are you seeing I'm any not ticks? I'm seeing anything. All right, you sure? I'm look. trying to look. I don't see anything either. I gotta look under this leg. No. Trying to fight me a little bit. He I'm is not seeing anything over here. All right, look, look, come look by the front legs. Look. This one? So, I don't know. Okay, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me so, look Hannah. real quick. Okay. All right, we're looking. All right, anything? I don't see anything. Guys, so this far. is one heavy tortoise. Look how big he is. Now it's perfectly safe to have him like this for short periods of time, long term. Not good for them. But for a quick health checkup, it's perfectly safe. I'm just gonna step up and then lift him on down just like that. So with these big giant tortoises, you have to be extremely gentle and intentional with how you place them down. If you drop them down, they can break their legs. So you gotta be super gentle. You did a good job, buddy. So we're gonna give you one more little carrot snack right here. Come here. You did so good. Oh, look at that. Thank you, buddy, for helping out. Thank you. So now that we checked our younger Galapagos tortoise, we're gonna check the big guy right now, right over here. But first, we wanna give him a carrot snack so he knows we're a friend yes, right now. So we got a carrot. Um, right now, so we're just gonna kind of get him right here. Hannah, here, why don't you show everyone what we're doing? So basically, I'm getting him to extend out. Look at that right there. Oh, he's just munching away. So, right now, this is a really good and easy way for me to actually be able to look at his neck right now to see if there's any ticks on it by using this carrot to get him to extend it. And look at that. Oh, that's a great, that's a great view. I'm not seeing any ticks there, but hey, where, where are you going, buddy? All right, so right now we're going to flip this big tortoise over to actually look on his underside. I'm going to need Fernando's help because 
I can't really flip this guy alone anymore. He's just too heavy. So right now, you ready to do this, Fernando? Let's do it. All right, let's go. I'm gonna lift him up and you're gonna kind of support him, come from the front. We're gonna support him and, and kind of put your hand underneath the bottom right there. And we're just gonna slowly kind of lean him down just like that, yeah. That's perfect. Look at this tortoise, guys. This is one ginormous Galapagos tortoise. All right, so right as we flipped him over, we just noticed there's at least one fruit gusher sized tick right here. Look at that. You can see he's on there. Oh my god. Oh, there's another one. There's a second right here. Yeah, but he's not as bad. They're like the same size. Look. Oh my so there's god. two nasty. nasty ticks. So what I want to do right now is I want to grab these hemostats right here. We're going to grab them. Look at this. So we're going to get them right here. We're going to get them by the body. And look, we're going to just yank them. Look at this. Do you see it? Oh, look at that. Oh my god. We got them right here. Look at this monstrous tick right here. So a lot bigger than the other one, but still not as big as some of the ticks can get. They can get almost double the size or even triple the size. What do you think of that? That's disgusting. It's disgusting. So guys, come right over here right now. We're gonna bring him right here. We're gonna go like this. Are you, are you focused on him? Yeah. And we're just gonna, wait, we're gonna probably just, we're gonna pop him out. Oh my gosh, oh, look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's it's disgusting. like black tar coming out of it. Look at that. Black tar. I definitely don't want to get this on me, so we're going to put it right here in the tick jar. Just like that. Look at that. The tick is in. He's popped. He's in the alcohol. Now let's get our second tick right here. Look at this. Another nasty tick. We're going to pull him out right now. One, two. Oh, we, we popped him before he came out. Look oh at that. My goodness. Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so inside of the jar, this guy's gonna go right now. So we've gotten three ticks so far, which this is a great routine. This is great routine maintenance that we do throughout the spring and the summer. So this big guy looks to be tick free. Now we're gonna use some of our flea and tick spray just on the inside of the legs right here as a preventative. We're just gonna put a little bit right here on the inside of the legs where the ticks kind of like to hang out. I also put just a little right here where they normally kind of just hang out. Just a little bit like that will be perfectly fine for these big guys. So Fernando, you ready to flip them? Let's do it. All right, let's go. We're gonna lift him right now. One, two, three. Flip him over, and he is down just like that. This is getting to be really hard. Soon enough, we're gonna have to get a tire so we can flip him over onto a tire. We got all of the ticks that we saw, and well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, pulling ticks off of my tortoises. Successful mission right now. He pooped right now after pulling ticks off. You're a good boy. Thank you very much. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if we're gonna find some more ticks on these tortoises. And if you guys are not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more of these Galapagos tortoises, you wanna see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals well guys all you have to do is go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever i post